I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Psalms 16 verse 1. Preserve me, O God, for in Thee do I put my trust. This psalm is known as the Golden Psalm of David, as it contains matter that is as precious like most fine gold. This psalm plainly speaks about Christ and His resurrection, which David prophesied under the unction of the Holy Spirit. And later on in the New Testament, Apostle Peter and Paul, through the Holy Spirit, again tell us that this psalm is about the Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 2, verse 25, Apostle Peter clearly says that for David speaketh concerning him. And Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 13, verse 38, testify that David wrote of the man through whom is preached unto us the forgiveness of sins. Though many people apply this psalm both to David, the saints, and to the Lord Jesus Christ, but as we meditate upon this psalm, we can see that this psalm truly fits itself to the humanity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ alone. Before we understand this psalm, we need to understand that Lord Jesus Christ, who is God Himself, walked on this earth as a complete man. As God, Lord Jesus Christ can never pay the price for the redemption of mankind from the divine judgment of God. Holy God can never take sin upon Himself. Neither can the just and righteous Lord ignore sin and allow the sinner to enter His holy presence. So Lord Jesus lived in this world as a complete man, fulfilled the demands of the law and the righteousness of God, and then as a perfect man paid the price for our redemption. And this psalm relates completely to the humanity of Lord Jesus Christ, as we can see in the first verse itself, how the Lord pleads to the Heavenly Father to preserve Him in this evil world. We know that Lord Jesus is referred to as the Holy One right from His birth itself. He was born of the Holy Spirit, never inherited the sinful, sinful nature of man, as He never had human parents like us. He was complete man like Adam. That's why He is known as the last Adam, who had no parents as He was created by God Himself. That is why Jesus Christ is called the last Adam. And Lord Jesus is the perfect example for us to follow in our new life of faith. Though holy in every aspect, Christ Jesus is pleading to preserve Him or guard Him from all evil. And the prayer of the Lord was answered as was promised in Isaiah chapter 49 verses 7 and 8. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and His Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise, princes also shall worship, because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and He shall choose thee. Thus saith the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritages. And in Lord Jesus Christ, we too can abide in that holy place, as the Lord will preserve us from all evil if we trust the Lord with a sincere heart. Our Lord Jesus never boasted about His holy nature, nor did He tried to show himself as the holiest of the entire human race. Instead, our Lord always taught us to trust in the Heavenly Father and abide in truth and holiness, as it is the holy, holy Heavenly Father alone who can preserve us from all uncleanness and evil. Our enemy, Satan, roams around us looking for an opportunity to get hold upon us. While he tries every method to allure us with worldly pleasure so that we may go far away from the Holy God and may easily fall into his trap. So let us always remain humble in the presence of the Lord with a broken heart, reminding ourselves of the pit from which 
we were hewn. Whoever we are today is because of the abundant grace of the Lord. Let us always cling unto Him and hide ourselves in that cleft of the eternal rock, where we are safe and secure from all evil, while we live each moment in this world that is ruled by the enemy. David, who was the person according to God's heart and destroyed the mighty Goliath, fell into the trap of the enemy, the temptation which he had laid through the lust of the eyes. That is a reminder for us how careful we need to be while we walk in the path of the Lord. We are the chosen ones who are called to be holy like our heavenly Holy Father. If Christ the Holy One trusted God to preserve him in this evil world, then how much more we ought to trust the Lord each moment, so that we may be able to lead a holy life that is pleasing to heaven. If we love the Lord with a sincere heart and abide in him, And Lord Jesus, who is our High Priest, will intercede for us in our weaknesses and grant us the strength to withstand all the temptations of the enemy. Let us never forget that we are still dust and have nothing else to boast of. If we trust the Lord, He is faithful enough to preserve us till the end of our journey. Remember, we are not alone in this tiresome journey. The Lord loves and cares us to that extent that He Himself, as Holy Spirit, abides in us as our helper and counsellor for each moment. How blessed we are as the chosen ones, as we just need to trust the Lord and move on in the true path that He shows us. May the Lord help us to trust Him and abide in Him and live a life that is pleasing to Him always. Let us pray. Father, we praise You and thank You for this beautiful opportunity that You have given us. Thank You, Lord, for this beautiful song that teaches us about how you paid the price for our redemption. Lord, help us to always remain humble. We are nothing. It's your grace that has brought us this far. Lord, help us to love you and help us to feed on your word so that we are always strengthened to overcome the temptations that come our way. May your name be glorified. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.